talking about sleeping. <laughs> talking about parenting things, things I can't relate <laughs> to. Stuff. You know a lot though. You used to do some <laughs> some nannying and yeah. whatnot. Okay, good viewer question. Uh, something I noticed with the new higher resolution radar, see that cloud formations are often uh, striated. I had not seen this before, wondering if it's natural. Uh, what he actually means is satellite, if he's talking about clouds, but that's a common um, word confusion here. So two parts to this question. One, there is a higher resolution satellite that we're showing you on television now. And so what it is is GO-16. I was very excited about this about a year or so ago when it first launched. This is GO-16 uh, satellite. This is our previous satellite, which was from 1978. So it is much more resolute. I can zoom in almost to a town level and see bubbling cumulus clouds and whatnot. We couldn't do that before. So what we're showing you on TV is this. It's a lot better, more resolute than what you've been seeing, so you notice more features. Now to the second part of this question, why the clouds um, have striations in them, in the mountains of Maine particularly? Well, the reason for that is upslope flow creates clouds and rain. So the idea is when you create a cloud, you're raising the air up in the atmosphere. You can do that two ways. One with a cold front, warm front, and that creates lift, or you can literally drive it uphill with terrain. And so that's why you'll notice mountains are often cloudier, right? So you've got clouds on the top of the mountains. So let's go to the next map. In Maine, what that means is when you're upsloping these clouds, they're creating these lines along the ridge lines, right? So these clouds are condensing, 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 and you see them on a clear otherwise day, you'll see where these clouds have formed in the mountains. Mm -hmm. So that feature has always been there, but our previous satellite was not resolute enough to show you that happening. But anybody who lives in the mountains knows, you know, on this side of the mountain there's a cloud, on the other side there isn't. The technology has definitely helped weather. Like, you know, oh, just to yeah. be able to see so much more than we ever could see before. We so. used to have to call downhill and see where the weather was going. Now you got models. Hey. Yeah, exactly. And